Welcome to this Lion Vision update presented by CBNS Bank. We're catching up with UNA head football coach Chris Willis. UNA football this weekend back for game three, traveling down to Hattiesburg, Mississippi to take on Southern Miss. And Coach Willis, uh, before we jump to Southern Miss, two weeks off since we last played Jacksonville State. Just what has the long layoff been like? Well, you know, that, that's probably the main concern. Um, you know, we had a great practice uh, and we've had great practices leading up to this game, but yesterday the energy level, it's almost like you have the same feel. Once we get to game week, it's kind of like, all right, now we got an actual game this weekend and everybody gets a little excited. Um, but listen, it's, it's been a little bit of a challenge. Uh, you know, two weeks of just trying to get ahead of the game a little bit on them, clean up some things. You know, practice is practice. I, you know, it, it, it kind of gets stalemate at times out there. But uh, we're doing the best with the situation that, you know, that, that we got right now. And just glad that we're back to playing football. Uh, you know, I feel like we're, for the most part, pretty healthy. Everybody, we got a little here and there, something going on with a player or two. But overall, I feel pretty healthy. And, uh, you know, we get to travel again. We always like to do that. And just the fact that here we are playing a football game, um, it is, uh, you know, when you sit here and think about it, we're, we're saying there's only three weeks left in the football season and we've only played two games. So it's just very an odd year. And listen, I, I've told this once, I've said it plenty of times. I mean, just getting to play football to me this year is a win in itself. And uh, all we're doing is learning from all of this and it's just gonna make us better. Coach, let's talk about the schedule as a whole. Liberty has cracked the top 25. Jacksonville State finished their fall season 3-1 and one with a win over FBS FIU. Southern Miss and FCS opponent final game of the year will be against BYU. They're now ranked number nine in the nation, Coach. Three FBS teams, all high caliber. Jacksonville State, the FCS team. How fired up is your team sort of as they look at what you've played and what's coming up? Well, listen, uh, we wanted a challenging schedule. Uh, I didn't know it would be quite the challenge, but uh, we, 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 we asked for it, and so we received it. And uh, Liberty's playing some really good football. Uh, we all know what BYU is capable of. I mean, listen, I think our kids look at it and will embrace it, you know, when we get to go play these teams. You know, all these teams are highlighted with some big-time players, and they get to go up against them and kind of get a gauge of where you are amongst those great players. Uh, but this is kind of what we wanted. You know, we, we got three FBS opponents and an FCS opponent, as we know, that is really good at finished the season three and one and, and knocked off an FBS. We, we just hope we can kind of finish it out right here uh, on a strong note and, and, and possibly get one of these games. Uh, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's an interesting schedule to say the least. Um, but, I, you know, once again, I, I think our guys, are, we've embraced it. Uh, we're having fun with it, and I think it's only going to make us better. Southern Miss, 1-5 on the season, and they've gone through a lot these last couple of weeks. Now on their third coach, interim coach Tim Billings took over after Scotty Walden left for Alston P last week. They've battled some COVID breakouts as well, but Coach, the, the Golden Eagles, what have you seen out of them? Well, listen, they're very athletic. they got a very skillful team. They're a good football team. I know the record don't indicate it. I don't know what all is going on, and, and I don't know if we ever will, but uh, it's got to be a challenge for those guys to go through a number of head coaches and uh, just trying to, you know, I think they've got four or five more games left after us, so they're playing a full season. So, I mean, things are a little different there. Doesn't mean they, they're not gonna have good football players, because on film, I can tell you, they do have good players and it'll be a challenge. I mean, you know, FBS football programs don't don't bring FCS teams in there to beat them. And so, um, it's gonna, we're gonna have a work cut out for us. We're gonna definitely do all we can to try to win the football game. It's, uh, you know, for some of the players and myself going back to Mississippi, it's home. And even though I grew up in the north part of the state, but it is pretty neat. I know a lot of people within that area. Uh, there's some coaches on that staff. The athletic director went to Delta State, uh, Jeremy McLean, uh, the D.C., Tony Pecoraro. And we, we worked here together for three years under Terry Bowden. Reed Stringer's on staff there. Uh, he played on our national championship team at Delta State as an offensive lineman. And I may be leaving a couple of guys out. Uh, that I, I'm aware of it's on the staff as well, but it, it's it's neat to get to go there I grew up in that state and I've never been in, in that stadium to play a football game So this will be the first North Alabama and Southern Miss this Saturday 2 p.m. Kick you can catch the coverage on 97.1 WDC FFL.